This is the Beyond the Box Dumbbell Workout. Before moving into the workout, you want to make sure you check out the Instagram post for the warm-up. When doing the warm-up, make sure that you're getting an increased heart rate, you're increasing your body temperature, and you're getting a little bit of a sweat starting to happen before you move on. Starting with the dumbbell pendulum rows, you're going to do five sets of eight reps. A dumbbell pendulum row, a dumbbell pendulum row is a bent over row with a pause. So you can pull from the floor or you can pause at the knees. Just want to make sure that we're not using momentum to go into the next rep. So if you have the flexibility, you can pull from the floor, extend the hips back, drop in hips and shoulders at the same time. Nice and tight to the shoulders, eyes up a little bit, and I'm pulling my elbows back, dumbbells to my chest, and then pausing on the floor. If I don't have the flexibility, I can bend over and I can just pause at a mid shin or just below my knees. So it's nice and tight to the back still, neutral spine, gaze is just out a little bit in front of you or just in front of your face. Pull and pause. We can, depending on what weights you have available to you, go get to a heavy set of uh, eight reps or you can add some tempo in there. So go down a little bit slower and count out your pause there. So if I wanted to use tempo, one, one, two, three, and then one, two, maybe three seconds pause at the bottom before going to the next rep. Pause at the bottom and go down slow. Once you're done your five sets of eight reps of that bent over row with the pause, AKA a pendulum row, you're gonna move on to the Metcon. For the Metcon, we have a chipper style event where we start with 50 reverse burpees, 40 sit ups, 30 hand release push ups, 20 dumbbell thrusters, and 10 renegade rows. The dumbbell thrusters and the renegade row weight, RX weight for the men is 50 pounds, RX weight for the ladies, 35. Starting with the reverse burpees. The reverse burpee. From a standing position, I'm going to get onto my back, I'm going to let my feet go up in the air to give me momentum to come back down, and then as I bring the feet down and I plant my feet, I'm going to step up out of that reverse burpee. So, standing, I'm going to sit down into it, onto my back, feet in the air, feet in front, stand up. If you need a little bit of help getting out of that, try bending one leg. So I'm gonna bring my, uh, my one foot stay underneath me, and then that back foot might be behind me to help me get up a little bit. Use the other hand to help you get up if you need to. Notice I extended one leg and let one leg stay down. Get on this side. All right, so getting from standing position to your back and back to that standing position is the reverse burpee. Following those 50 reverse burpees, you're gonna go and shoot 40 sit-ups. So laying on your back, back flat against the floor, shoulders off the floor, and then toss the hands between the knees towards the ankles for that sit-up. Wanna make sure that you're sitting up with a nice straight back, neutral spine. As opposed to what you see a lot of people do, like crunch sit-ups or crunch ups, which would look like this. Notice how my spine is curved. This isn't a great position. It's definitely not neutral. Whereas this is neutral. It actually engages more of my midline as I sit up through that. Want to make sure you lead with your arms and chest. I don't even need to use a little bit of a kip. I will sit up leading with my hands. All right, so almost like you're reaching forward, you're reaching for your ankles. If you need to get a little bit of help setting up the low back, you can grab a mat, like we have an ab mat here. You could also use a cushion or a pillow to elevate your lower back. This gives you something to help press into a little bit better to engage your deep abdominal muscles. Definitely makes it easier to sit up through here, maintaining a good neutral spine, good posture. Following 
those 40 sit-ups, 30 hand release push-ups. So it's a push-up all the way to the floor, hands off the floor, and then plant your hands and press up. So from the toes, all the way to the floor, chest touches the floor, hands off the floor, plant, press. Can also be done from the knees. Once you're done your 30 hand release push-ups, you're gonna move to 20 dumbbell thrusters, dumbbell thrusters. You're going to have to clean the, th uh, the dumbbells from the floor to the shoulders. Keep them on the shoulders for your squat press combo. To the shoulders, squat press. Make sure your arms are by your ears. Try not to bend the elbows. El elbow dumbbells to the shoulders before you squat. Once you've done your 20 dumbbell thrusters, you're going to move into 10 renegade rows. Renegade rows. From a plank position, row, row. Optional push up, but one and one equals one rep. The push up is optional. So again, renegade row. Rep on one arm, rep on the other, with an optional push up is one rep. So you have four times 50 reverse burpees, 40 sit ups. 30 hand release push ups, 20 dumbbell thrusters, and 10 renegade rows. Get after it, have fun.